Hi everyone, we're going to work on population versus sample on our statistical data today. Alright? So our goal is to identify the statistical data as population or sample by using the parameters and statistics. So, I usually ask, what makes math important? So you could answer this in a chat and I'll see what you guys answer, okay? So we got some response here. What makes it important? I put this in our community board. So let's see. Uh, I said use in all walks of life. Alana said uh, what makes it important is that you use math every aspect of your life from school to work and even cooking along with things and you, you do for fun as well. Um, Engineers needed this. Every individual do in everyday living, getting up to go to bed. Says yes. This is because sometimes you need to use math to solve everyday everything's in real life. What makes my important is the fact that you get involved in real world problems to make easier like architecture. It is even helpful in school. It is needed in life's essential, even to cook stew, I think. It's Lugo. Yes, because math helps us better problem and helps us solve problems. <laughs> All I know is plus and divide and add. Yes, because now a lot of job includes math. What if there's no math? Everything will just flow freely. Math is important because you see you use it almost every day. For example, use math when you count money. Another example is engineers. Right? Thank you for that. You guys are amazing. We'll, we'll see more um, responses for this, okay? So we have some beautiful side trip. Actually, I posted uh, some examples where math is being used. So creating, uh, doing buildings, bridges, cooking, baking, shopping, grocery, uh, any kinds of transportation, furnitures, living rooms, houses, building like that. So those are... A uh, few examples why math is important in our daily life. So today we're working on um, like a data, which one could be the population and which one could be a sample data. So a population is a collection of all the items of interest and we usually represent this for N and that will be our parameters. On the other hand, sample is a subset of the population we represent with small n, and that's where our statistical data comes in. So for example, uh, some quick notes for this, samples and populations. So a population is an entire group of people or objects, and a sample is a part of the population. A class is part of the entire school, so all of students in school are the population. And the sample could be all students in a class sample. So, like for example, in our school, we have six, seven, and eight graders. And if you randomly pick students from every grade level, and that could be a sample. The entire school population is a population. Okay. There are some uh, reasonable samples that we need to like look out. So selected at random. So samples should be selected random. For example, the third of the fourth of so every eight student who comes in, or every fifth uh, person who comes in. It depends. It should be random. So representative of population. So if there are six, seven, eight graders, there should be a um, representation for every category for every group, large enough to provide accurate data. So the larger it is, if possible. Uh, the nicer uh, the good sample it be gonna be and it's more reasonable if you have a large um, sample size so if your population is 1400 sample size to get five is not good maybe a hundred is more reasonable for that so the result of reasonable sample are proportional to the result of the population so reasonable sample can be used to make prediction about the population so that will give you an example of what gonna happen in the next um, uh, in the next step that you're gonna have so um, uh, what it goes that you you could you could have a good idea 
of uh, the question or the research or the survey that you're gonna have based on the uh, on the on the survey that you got or the samples that you have that it could represent the entire population that will be a good and reasonable sample some examples that let's say this is the population and this is your sample so it says as every third of your group is taken as your um, sample for that population another one is this so this is a group of um, people maybe a kind of business that they have or whatever that you're looking for so you're taking if you notice that there are brown blue green purple kind of uh, population and you take at least one of each group or category uh, getting and getting sample from each group let's say each department will be a good example of a sample not just you're gonna say oh uh, sixth grade only now or seventh grade now you had to take at least a sample of each group so let's see an example check the population and circle the sample so in the first example we have what is the population so definitely the colony of the ants is our population and that group of a uh, small group will be the ants is our sample it may not be a good sample it depends on the population is but that will be a sample you're not taking the entire colony on this second example you have 150 quarters and a quarter in circulation so the population will be your quarter in the circulation and um well i said circle it so we're gonna we just gonna say i didn't follow the direction that's what happened so check the population and circle the sample so the sample is the quarters the 150 quarters and the group of um a bag of quarters that is in a circulation is your population all right, let's look at our next example. So in this example, it says circle the population and check the sample. So here, are all the books in the library and 10 library books. So obviously, the all is one of the keywords that we have to make it the population. So we circle the population in this case and say we check the sample. All right, so students at the school then random students tested for the virus so definitely the population will be the students at a school and since it says the word random that will be our sample All right so now you you know which one is the sample and which one gonna be the population all right let's check on this problem set you want to estimate the number of students in high school who ride a school bus which is the best sample for this which sample is the best let's look at letter a four students in the hallway so all students in the marching band 50 seniors at random 100 students at the random during lunch so you are going to pick which a b c d is the best example for that so pick a pick a number i mean pick a letter so A, B, C, D, or E. So anyway, if you pick A, let's see what it is. A is not large enough. All right. So you sh um, A shouldn't be a very good sample to provide accurate data. So if you choose B, B is not a selected. B is not selected at random, so it's not a good data again because it's only on the marching band. How about the others? So C is not representative of a particular population because seniors are more likely to drive to school than other students, right? So that's not a good sample either. So and the last one, it says choose D is the best because it's a large and random. So students at random during lunch at random. When it says randomly selected, that becomes the best choice or the best sample that you could have to represent the population wherever you are testing so with that we could all uh, go to google classroom and practice if we um have understood the lesson for the day let's see if we could follow up more 
All right, so go to Google Classroom, check it out, and um, we'll practice more again if needed.